Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. Hey everybody, it's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming. Today we have a very special video for you. This one happens to be the PSN Update 3.5 Info PS4 Remote Play on PC. That's right, we're going to show you how to set it up and we're going to start it off by showing you this checklist. You need a computer, you need a PS4, you need a PS4 controller, you need the USB cable that comes with it, you need a PSN account, as well as a high-speed internet connection. Now, if you meet all of those requirements, we'll go ahead and move on to the next one. Now, your PC itself has to have a certain amount of requirements so we'll go ahead and let you look over this list here for PC versus Mac and then guess what that's right it works for both systems so that's pretty unusual and uh, all right we're gonna start off by heading over to Google and we're gonna just Google up remote play software for PC now uh, a quick search actually finds us a whole bunch of things including some info on 3.50 but we're just looking for this link down below here we're gonna actually put this link in our video description but if you use if you are using Google <laughs> easy for me to say you're gonna want to look for this this specific link go ahead and click it and you'll know you're at the right place if you see this screen here so uh, because we are on a Windows PC we're gonna go ahead and choose that and get that downloading uh, if you are on Mac, feel free to use that. Unfortunately, we do not own a Mac to go ahead and do the tutorial for that. So, uh, well, hopefully the instructions down below uh, will go ahead and get you through it. Otherwise, uh, we're going to go ahead and kick off the Windows installation. Now, we already discussed the getting ready. And because our computer is set up to download files to our desktop, the file was conveniently downloaded right to our desktop. Uh, now, the initial setup is just simple. Uh, like I said, you got to choose either Windows or P well, Windows PC or Mac and uh, get that download going. Go ahead and double click the installation file and it should start prompting you through, asking you where to put things and all that. And uh, we're actually going to show you that here in a second. We went that extra mile. And uh, along the way, you might find that you need some extra software that you might not have on your computer already. Uh, go ahead and follow the links there. They should all be safe. I can't endorse that, so I guess download them at your own risk, but just follow the links provided in the software and you should be good now setting it up you're a couple of quick things that are really important you need to make sure that you do have remote play enabled and uh, this you got to go to the settings go to remote play connection settings and go ahead and check that box now most importantly you need to make sure that you activate your ps4 that you're trying to remote play as as the primary ps4 so go into settings go to the playstation network account settings management and uh, activate your as ps4 as primary click the activate button and booyaka shao you should be good now, uh, in the settings down below, in the power save settings, there are some other checkboxes. For me, they were already checked. I don't know if that's something that came with the, the download of the 3.50 on its own or if that's something that I already had checked. But you might go ahead and double check, huh? triple check, actually, because there's three boxes to make sure you got them all. Now, using remote play. Now, this gets a little bit trickier. So you need to make sure your PS4 is either turned on or in rest mode. Next, you're going to need to connect a controller with a USB cable to your computer. And then you're going to need to launch the PS4 Remote Play app on your computer. Now, I'm falling a little bit behind, so I'm going to try to catch up here. Uh, feel free to pause and read all of this information as it is fairly important. Um, you do need to register your PS4. The, game, the, the software does it yourself itself. Um, you know, but if, if it, you're having troubles, you might need to do it manually. Uh, there is some information here as well on how to connect if it is not working. And again, the link up top is going to be the link that you need to follow in order to get all of this information. And all we did to find it was just Google remote play software for PC. Now, most importantly, PlayStation.com slash support is going to be your final resort. Hopefully you won't ever have to go to that. But uh, all right, let's go ahead and double click the file that we downloaded now. And we'll see what happens. All right. First, we see we get asked by the computer if it's uh, something we want to do. And look at that. Norton Security has scanned that, and it does say it is safe. Now, I know not everybody trusts Norton, and everybody's got their own preferences, but uh, we're going to go ahead and trust that Sony put out something that's not going to dump a bunch of malware or spyware onto our stuff. But uh, all right. Now, we always recommend that you read the end user agreement, but, you know, the, the EULAs are pretty long. So we're going to scroll through it and pretend like we are a speed reader and just hope, again, that we're good and, and take note too there's microsoft as well as apple noted in this on a playstation <laughs> that's pretty weird all those together and one happy family maybe someday huh 
All right, uh, we're just clicking the buttons, telling it where to put the files and how to install it. And uh, once it's all complete, you can see we've got a new file here on our desktop. We're going to pull that down so we know which is which. And we're going to move this file into a folder we've got called Desktop Junk. Uh, because we'd already gone through this once in an earlier setup, we had a file already in there. So we had to just go ahead and overwrite the original file. But now we've got to double click on our software here to open it up. And look at that, our app's ready to go. But hey, our PS4 is not. So uh, we're going to switch over to the PS4 here. Here, and you can see we're waiting to update the system software, which prompted as soon as we turned our PlayStation on. Here you can see we've got a bunch of new features, including some new uh, ev create event options for the calendar. You can play together uh, for the party. And basically, they strengthened up a bunch of features that were already in existence. And of course, most importantly, you now have access to remote play from PC. Um, there are some other features here. Like I said, they just kind of strengthened up a bunch of stuff that was already in existence. Feel free to pause that and read it over or read it on your own PlayStation while updating. But uh, all right, so we've gone through that. We're uh, good to go. We're going to go ahead and click next. And now it's going to go ahead and update everything. Now, keep in mind, we did speed this next section up a little bit. In fact, we sped it up quite a bit just to get through this. Um, it does have to install some some stuff, and, and it does take a little bit. So it takes a minute to kick off, and we are away and a rolling. As you can see here, it does need to rebuild a database as well. And uh, yep, you guessed it, we did speed this one up too. This one, not quite as much. And this one's actually a fairly quick process. Uh, but uh, once this is all ready to go, we are gonna do a quick check of some other settings, uh, which do include the uh, activate or activation, as well as the, uh, the, the uh, well, you'll see, you'll see. All right, so here we go. We're going to go up into settings, and we're going to go into PlayStation Network Account Management first. This is where you're going to activate your PS4 as your primary PS4. So there is an option there for that. We're going to go ahead and click it. You can see the activate option is the only one available. And down below, it does say this PS4 is not activated. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And booyaka shao! Look at that. It's good to go. So we'll go ahead and back out of that and scroll down a little bit further. And that area I was talking about a minute ago, I couldn't remember the name of. There it is. It's the power save settings. We're going to scroll down to the second one here, set features available in rest mode. And we're going to just make sure that uh, all three of those boxes are checked to make sure that we can actually connect from our, you know, whatever device we're trying to connect with, whether it's the Vita or the app from the PC that we have installed. And uh, all right, both of those are good to go. So next, we're actually going to go ahead and turn our PlayStation or put our PlayStation into rest mode. And uh, once it goes into rest mode, we're going to magically move right back into our PC mode. And here we go. We're back over on our PC now. Before launching this little app here, we're going to go ahead and check the settings. We did punch in our info to go ahead and log in as in a dub, which is our main PSN account. For our settings here, we're going to choose the highest resolution because we have a computer that can handle it. And uh, frame rate, we got it on high. Again, same things. You might have to tinker with that a little bit on your own, but uh, I always suggest starting with the highest and see how it works. But speaking of seeing how it works, let's go ahead and click that start button. Now, if you do have your controller plugged in via USB cable, as well as your PlayStation in rest mode, and you have set up everything, including logging into your account via the software using the settings button there, you will will see some stuff start to happen and you'll probably hear your PlayStation kick on if you're close by and look at that wait for it wait for it it is connecting it does give us a little notification there that says uh, this is the notification displayed if you lose connection so uh, I didn't read that verbatim I was I was winging it as you guys probably remember my preview window is not giant and some of that text is a little hard to oh oh look at that there it is this is no trickery I promise this is not my software I use to record or anything like that. And speaking of which, I had some weird issues with the software I was capturing on my PC with. So uh, there's a little bit of ghosting that happens in, in a minute, I think. We'll, we'll get to that when it happens. But uh, all right, we're scrolling through. I wasn't, I was actually really excited and I had everything planned out really well until this point. I was kind of like, oh no, what game do I play? And, you know, knowing that some games are not remote play compatible, I started thinking about it and I was like, okay, should I play Marvel? No, it's probably not compatible. What's going to be the most compatible game I got? And, yep, 
Call of Duty Black Ops 3, I uh, I knew already that it was capable of remote play. So I went ahead and clicked that and loaded it up. Now here's the thing. If you move your mouse around, you can actually, you get this little menu that pops up down below and you can click those and you can see I'm actually using my mouse to check the XMB or the, the main menu. Uh, sorry, my bad. It's not the XMB anymore. But uh, And uh, it, you, know, you can select the options and share. You can do all sorts of things with just your mouse. But uh, it certainly helps having that uh, well, you actually need the controller. I don't think you can play. You know, whoa, that's mind. I just blew my own mind. Maybe you can play with keyboard and mouse. I did not even think about that. So, all right, uh, we sped this up too. I don't know why it always takes us forever to check the files and download that info. Maybe it does for you as well. We're gonna go ahead and zap right on through. I gotta be honest. I, I don't play this game very much, as you can tell by my rank. Uh, it's been quite a while since I have played it, and uh, ooh, a new map. I, I don't even know that I had played this map before, but look, we're proven. We got we got live action Call of Duty. We can move it around. Uh, you know, if you want to open up some emails or move some things around, pull some programs up, you're welcome to do that. See, look at that. We pulled up our thing there. Uh, we actually pulled up a bunch of uh, sensitive data, and we had to remove it. And uh, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, what, what ended up happening was uh, we just moved along. And uh, you, if you need to check some emails, check some emails. But you're not here for that. You're here to watch me play PS4 remote play on PC. And you're about to see me get owned in high def on my very own PC. So, all right. Loadouts don't matter. I got a gun. It's got bullets. Let's go kill some. Well, let's go attempt to kill somebody and get shot in the process. <laughs> That's ultimately what happens. I was hoping I was going to put on like this mega awesome display of ownage, but no such luck. But uh, yeah, it is really cool. I, I will say, I don't know how often I will use this feature. Um, you know, hey, if I'm out on the go, I might not take my PlayStation with me anymore. I might just take my laptop and have everything on that. Uh, assuming that it works via, you know, outside of the internal network. Like, I don't know if I can have like, you know, my neighbor use his computer to connect to my PlayStation through his... Now, I will have to figure that out. That's one question I do have. If you guys do know the answer to that, I'd love a little uh, comment down below. But get ready. Here comes death. Three, two, one. Owned. That's right. And uh, all right, here's a replay. Oh, shoot him in the nuts. Shoot him in the nuts. Oh. All right. Uh, he, got, he got caked big time. Anyways, uh, we're going to drop that down to the little screen. I'm going to show you again one last time that you can move this window around and kind of do whatever you want. You can pull up your mouse and, oh, I got shocked. You know, I know you're shocked. We can now use a PS4 on the PC, but I got shocked on the PC playing PS4. Haha. <laughs> That was, a, that was kind of a tongue twister. All right, we're going to quit the game because we are no good at this. We don't want to embarrass ourselves anymore. We're actually going to go ahead and leave the game entirely. We're going to uh, pretty much call it quits. Not Call of Duty. We're going to call it quits. So uh, plenty of other games to play, and we'll have to test these things out. This is day one. We want to say thanks for watching. Of course, if you have any questions, leave them down below. If you know any info about the Outternal, that's right, Outternal. I made up a new word, Outternal Networks. Uh, be like, like If you're on the go and you're not at home, can you use your PC? That's the, that's the big question. But uh, all right, head on over to Facebook, Twitter, comment, vote, subscribe down below. HappyFilmsGaming.com is, of course, available for your viewing pleasure. For me, that's going to do it. As always, until next time. Well, if I'm being honest, until next time, I'll probably be playing my PS4 on my PC. Well, maybe not. I'll probably just play my PS4 on my TV.